Good morning, Pisces. Today is Thursday, April the 20th. It's 3.50 a.m. Pisces, check it out. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be here with you and share this moment with you. And um, today is the eclipse. It was last night, too, but of course, we can't see it from here, so... I wish people would send me all kinds of pictures of it. But Pisces, beautiful things are going on. What is this thing on? I don't know. How does this thing work? All right, well, anyway. Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who donate and get private readings. And thank you for all those who go onto my webpage and purchase my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, my Abundant Prosperity, Health, well, uh, Growth, Wealth, Infertility, and Nature candle. And I need to slide them up. There you go. The Love Yourself candle. Everybody knows I burned a justice candle faithfully. This is a sage. It comes with two power santo. Amber, your order is going out today. This is the walnut bath. This is to cleanse your home, yourself. You can use that for anything. My oils come in dry form. My jewelry. Okay, my jewelry, my jewelry here. It's important that you wear, keep all yourself all, you know, taken care of. And I always, always am taking care. I'm always protecting myself. Um, these are your um, crystals, all right, and stones. I have also the salt, uh, salt scrub, and this is the Spirit's Detox Salt Bath, and I also have um, herbs in a bag, all right? So you know that at the end of this month, I will be... Um, Giving out my um, uh, ankle bracelet. It is so cute. It has all the chakras on it. All right. And it's very dainty, especially now that it's summertime. You like to show your little ankles looking all sexy. Isn't this adorable? It's just so, so cute. That's what I'll be giving out. All right. Ambra, I got it. All right, let's get down with this. Let's get down with it. All right, Pisces, you've been having these beautiful readings. I keep hearing the spirit says, get off of that revolving door. That's what it says. Get off of that revolving door. That's what it said. Whatever that means, get off of it. You know, the revolving door spins. And it goes, it's like you keep pushing it, and it goes round and round. But when are you going to get out of that revolving door? All right. Jonah Art, Art Michael, please help me do this reading and give me one card. Well, you got two cards. So you got the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is sitting there. Look like she's working on some thread, Um, you know, Getting herself ready to either make a sweater or a blanket or um, something here. But she's getting it all ready to go. And then it's it's got something here, that, the two of uh, cups, which is making a decision here. But it's like you, you, you putting, it's got choices, okay, making a decision between two. And I said... It's time for you to get out of this revolving door. The two of cups is she's using some um, rosemary leaf to decide what she wants, okay? Now, you got a rat, a cat, and 
a bird. All right, but you're drawing the line here. Let me see something. I'm not sure what this is. Let me see. Yeah, you got a rat, a cat, and a bird. And here you're 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 putting this magic spell there. But it has three different directions on which way to go. Now everybody knows that the two of cups means love. Sometimes can be marriage, sometimes can mean um engagement. But it's something that you are here um getting this yarn ready. But what is why why are you getting it ready? What are you doing? But you're wearing this shirt that got a love, a heart on your chest. Whatever it is, you're going to make a decision what you want. Now, Pisces. I don't know, but to me, it feels like it's between a cat and a bird. A cat and a bird. A cat and a bird. Okay, what is it here that you decided to make or to do? It's something here that you're going to make a decision about. All right, the Queen of Wands, you already know the Queen of Wands is Beyonce. And she's making a decision between two. What are you making a decision of? It's like somebody is around you. Or you 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 gonna be with somebody that's gonna be good for you, but then you got somebody here that doesn't do anything, doesn't want anything in your life. Just looks at life like a big party, okay? Not not serious. You got somebody that's serious about you, and then you got somebody that really doesn't mean anything. What what I feel like it's like. What are you going to pick, the, per the person that really cares about you, that will help you out, or somebody that just want to have a good time with you, right? The two of cups here, you have to make this decision. And Beyonce, and it might be somebody older that's sitting there getting ready to make this decision. And whoever, maybe it's somebody that's laid back, Beyonce could be laid back, and then you got somebody here that maybe younger, act younger, immature. They they wear you in their heart, but they not they don't know what they want. They 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 want everything. They want the party in. They want the fiesta. They want um. It's like they want to continue to go. They on a crossroad. But which way do I go? And that's what they ask they sell. What the and this is the two of cups. Like the two of cups should be somebody that know what they want. But this person, it's like Pisces, you're sitting down and it's like somebody don't know what they want. And you may be older than this person. This person don't have a slightest clue what they want here. The next car you got is the musician. And you got your swords up. You the swords are in your hands. Looks to me like you can ready to cut somebody off. You got everything laying down. It's like you got some type of plan or something here is being um is 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 it's mapped out. But you ready to cut use this sword to cut someone off. All right. And like you just sitting there, you know that ain't good for you. You're like, yo, I'm ready to happen, ready for this to go. Now, it's somebody here that you're not even thinking about, right? But they keep coming up or keep coming around, all right? Maybe you're not seeing this person. Maybe you don't have no contact with this person. Maybe you don't talk to them. But they seem to come around or call you. or It's like coming around means like they just show up. Maybe they call you. Maybe they text you. 
Maybe they just want to see how you're doing, but they just come to stir things up in your head. But it looks to me like you're ready to cut this off once and for all. Like, you're like, nope, I, I'm working hard. I'm about to do something here. But it's a decision that you need to make, and that is to cut someone off for good. All right? And you're going to do it. All right? It's like, for some reason, I feel like you're putting boundaries in front of this person. All right? It's like you're drawing a line, or either you're putting boundaries or you're drawing a line. Like, this is where you... You've been working on yourself, working, working, just period, working, Beyonce. But then it's like, I'm going to draw the line here. This is where you cannot come past me. I, I got something here that's better for me that I know that I need to be with. Because somebody here is not worth your time. And it looks to me like you ready to cut this off. You got all the tools, but you got the knife in your hand. And you looking like you jazzed up, like you ready to do it. And it ain't no stopping you. Like you're getting ready to be done with this. You got everything you need in front of you. It's already done. It's all, the potion is done. The potion is done. As above, so below, it is done. The potion is done. Like you put this together already. All you got to do is go through it. Okay? Or the potion is done. It's something here that's already done. It's it's in black and white. It's done. All right? Uh, then you got the King of Cups. The King of Cups is sitting there mixing things up. And these ladies are dancing around while he is mixing this kakash up. All right? Um... And then you got the fool. Now, this goat is um, pulling you, pulling you. Let me see what this says. Oh, so pulling you up the hill. And it's like, you know how somebody get married that God, God, God or belt or something popped off of you. All right. So something popped off of you here. But you're going up, 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 up the mountain. You're getting pulled up the mountain. All right. It's, I feel like somebody here is pulling you out of a situation. All right. Like whoever this person is. That this King of Cups um, had these women dancing around. More than like one, two, three women here dancing around them. It's this white goat that's coming to pull you up from that mess. From whoever this person wanted to keep you. And it looks like they doing some magic work to keep you with them. But whatever potion they using, it's not working. It's like you're, it's this goat that's going to pull you out of it. All right. Um, and, and the goat represents areas. It's like areas is here to pull you out of the situation. All right. Um, also, um. This, whoever this musician is, can be a, a Pisces, a, Gem, a Gemini, or a, or um, a Virgo. You're going to have to make a decision. All right? It's like, you're, you're like, I'm whatever, whoever this is, I feel like they're they trying to keep you. Or do something to keep you there. But this Taurus is pulling you out of this situation that you've been in. It's like you waiting to be pulled out of here with the musician. It's like you about to cut this off. All right? Alright? 
something here is you're like done with it. You made a decision that it ain't the two of cup is love, but you 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 have all this laid out. It's like the paperwork is done. Now you just you, it's like you cutting someone off, but it's like it took you a minute because almost I feel like this person had you. Like work was being done to keep you in a situation or whatever it is, this person had a bunch of like women dancing around him or doing something or this person may work at a bar, may work um, around, maybe work at a club or around a lot of women or got more than one woman, okay? But it seemed like this Taurus comes now and pulls you out of it. You're not a part of whatever this was that this man had going on. It's like you you breaking free from it. This Taurus is taking you up, up the mountains. And you're holding on to get out of a situation you've been in. And there it is. The good thing about this is that I feel like whatever it is, you cut yourself free from it. You have to decide that I need to make a decision with the two of cup. And this is what's pretty big for you to make this decision. I don't know if you was married to this person. I don't know if you had kids, but this was serious. It took you a minute to get out of this. It's like you've been working hard on yourself. Either you working hard on working, period, like two jobs or just working. But it was, it's like here we are seeing a person deciding what I should do, but putting boundaries. It's like you're not going to do me any kind of way anymore. And you got the swords in your hand to be cut and free from this water sign, Aries, such, I mean, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and this area comes and pulls you up, and that is that eclipse moon. That's what that eclipse moon is about. It's about moving you forward, okay? And remember, I told you before I even started this reading, this is a door that is like when you go, you know, when you go in a store, in a store, you go into a um. Uh, um, airport places like that you see them doors you get in and then you push your way through till you get into the, out of the next opening it's like you you in one opening but you gotta push your way to get out of that that from coming from the outside to pulling your way to go into another part of your life and that's what I was looking at before I even started doing this reading I felt like you 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 in somewhere but you went in that door was revolving that revolves and many times you just kept going around inside of that but I feel like now you push your way and you went through the first opening it was out to keep moving on to free yourself from a situation that you said I have to set boundaries this is not cool why am I working so hard I should not be working this hard I need to set boundaries here. It, you know, things got to be right. And you use your sword because you have all of your tools to use. It's like you got this paperwork down pat with the musician. It's in the middle of your car. And you decided to let go of somebody that you felt like was controlling you. It's, and this person doesn't just control you. They control everybody around them, this King of Cups. They can be laid back, but very controlling. And they do things in a way that you don't even see it coming because the, the King of Cups is somebody that loves women or love. You know, you don't know how they do it. They, they sneaky. They don't talk. They, they, they move around sneaky. I felt like this person... You know, they had you and somebody else.
but you made a decision. Let me get out of this situation. This ain't worth it. And let me start really processing this, doing the paperwork to process what I need to do to cut something off that is not good for me. Because you got all the tools to do it. But when you set yourself free from this person, Rico Suave, you got this Taurus coming, pulling you up. And I keep saying to myself, where is the Taurus? All right? And they say that um, the best sign that will fit me will be an Aries. Again. Um, an Earth sign. It said, I would really do good with the Aries. I would get along good with this Aries. I would get along good with this Taurus. And it keeps saying that to me. You also can be dealing with a Capricorn. But I see here um, a, 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 a um, uh, fire sign, air sign, cup sign. You got majors, you got um, the musician and the fool. And let me tell you something. The musician got all the cups to take a leap of faith. But this, this Taurus is pulling you up from this situation you've been in. Because it's hard for you to climb up there. A Taurus can do climbing on these rocks. A Taurus can go up to the mountains and climb. They're good at that. Okay? Um, okay, so let's move on. I feel like you really thought about this. And you said, no. Nope. But this is a long time coming. Because you like, I have to get out of this. I mean, I don't give a damn about no marriage and all this and that. It, I don't care if I've been with you a long time ago. I don't care what matters. If what matters is I'm tired of working my behind off. And somebody here, it's like you working your behind off and this person is living the luxury life and having fun. And they don't care about you. You working your tail off while they having a good old time. And you said, I'm going to set boundaries. It's time for me to find my way out of this mess, out of this marriage, whatever it is. I got to get out of here. And you decide to do that so nicely. It's like you use all your tools and you put all the money, even if you didn't have it, to get this job done. And you got your sores out. You ready for whatever it is that's coming now. It's like you ready. It's like they, they won the battle, but you but you won the war. All right? And then you got this person that, that wants to parade around. It's like, yup, but guess what? You can pull out of this situation by... A Taurus. It shows a Taurus on air. All right? You're being rescued by a Taurus. Okay? But you're getting out of this situation. It's like, you don't know what's going on when you get on the top of that. On the top. I didn't say the bottom. I said the top. You don't know what's going to happen when you get up to the top. But you get there. And that's all that matters. You're going to make it there. All right? Like I said, they might have won the battle, but you won the war. All right? Tell me more about this Two of Cups and Beyonce. Beyonce. This King of Cups is there. It's like somebody is here that can't stop loving you, won't stop loving you. Okay, this person knows that you meant a lot to them, but don't worry about it, Pisces, with this five of, of cups. It's like you went through this mis emotions, all right, but don't worry about it. It's like you sit there and you look at everything you've been through, but don't worry about it because God says. I got a basket full, full of love for you, okay? It's like you got, and, and this is like a hole here, 
but you you spill in the water. It's like you know when the toilet flushes, or when when you washing dishes, and then all this water, and then all of a sudden it goes down the drain. Right? It's like all your words are going down the drain, and God is saying, "I got something bigger for you." Right? While this person is sitting there, and I ain't lying, like, okay, let me just mix the singing bowl. Let me play with this singing bowl. Let me, you know, I, I know that, you know, I don't know who you're dealing with, a Pisces or an air sign, but it's like, it's coming. But whatever is coming, it's like somebody here is waiting. It, I don't know. It's like been waiting for you or something. Somebody here is waiting for you. Okay, but then you're sitting here spilling the water into this looks like a, a washing machine or something. Right. It's something like a hole that you spilling a water. The, your love, your emotions are going down, going down. It. And while you looking there is a hole that you're looking at. And all of these cups are getting ready to fall right into this hole. Almost like a dishwasher or something, right? But God is saying, don't sit there and worry about anything. Um, Don't keep looking at it like everything you've been through. Look at it like, I got something bigger for you. It ain't no need for you to worry. It ain't no need for you to cry over the spilled milk. It ain't no more tears left for you to cry. Okay? If you just look right next to you, you will see that I got a pot of gold for you. And somebody, it's, it's like you've been wanting this. You got two people doing the same thing, waiting on love. Going through emotions. It's like you sitting here waiting on something to come your way. But at the same time, you thinking about everything you went through and what you're going through. But God has something bigger for you there. It's like whatever you're going through, whatever you're waiting on, and whatever you think about while you're sitting there, what you're waiting on, what you've been through, God has something planned for you. Okay? It's planned out. It's like you made a decision with this tour cup, and this is like something pretty big. Okay, you have to make a decision here. And the decision is about what wasn't serving you that you can look at it. Only think of all the bad memories you have with this person. And what is good for you? What is coming? What is good for you? All right? Tell me more about this musician. Tell me more about this musician. Tell me more about this musician. Look at this. The five of swords. Like in your head, it's like somebody's talking to you. It's like this person, it's like you know that you're doing good. You made the right decision because you see it back here in the background. But then you have this bird that keeps calling you or talking to you. Trying to confuse you. All right? You know what's good for you. Remember, it's time for you to cut somebody off. But whatever you're cutting off, don't let nothing confuse you. All right? I feel like somebody here is, is going through, it's like in their head over this. They can't stop thinking about it, right? In their head over this. Somebody here look like they are in despair because it's like somebody, I don't know if they call you, and when they call you, they trigger you. Or when you hear from this person, it triggers you. I don't care what it is. It just triggers you. But you know that you're making the right decision. But it's just the thought of this person just turns. It can really get to you to a place where you're thinking. Right? The, the five of swords is when you put in, you, you can't stop thinking. And anything can stir up your emotion when it comes to this particular situation 
but you're about to cut someone off, right? Tell me more about this going up. Like you, you, you got this help to get you out of a situation. You know, you, you got the help to remove you and that you don't know what's going to happen when you get to that top. But listen to me. You don't know what's going to happen because somebody's pulling you from the bottom to the top. But you don't know what's going to be up there when you get there. But I'll tell you, it's good. It's very good. It's bright. It's brighter than where you've been at now in your life. All right? Tell me more. And it's got to do with a king of, so a king of cup. It's something here. You got the king of cup twice. All right? Somebody must be messing with a... a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Somebody here is messing with a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Come on, get out of your head, Pisces. Look at this. And look at this. Get out of your head. Like, it's all right. You get out of a situation and you keep saying, you know, is this just drowning me? It just feel like you can't. I don't know. I feel like you feel like it's a miss. Like, is this really happening to me? You know, don't don't go back because the you know you go you're a fool, honey. You you get out of that situation. They pulling you up, but in your mind, it's like you're going through these emotions of this loss. It's like you are a mourning, even though you know that you gotta move on. It's like you mourning in a situation. That it's not serving you anymore, but you mourning it. All right? It's like you mourning this thing, like almost like it's if it's at a death. You're mourning a situation here. That's what you're doing. You're mourning it. You're mourning it as if you going through a death. All right. And I won't be surprised if you don't get the death card here. You got the two, you got the the cups, the king of cups twice. Whatever it is, this person, Pisces, and this King of Cups shows as the moon, the full moon. Like, the eclipse was last night, so it got somebody all messed up in their head. This, 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 this person is all messed up in their head, okay? But they, they got, it's like the moon is playing games. Don't let it play games with you, because you get out of the situation, I mean, I don't see you going back to it, but it's still the, it's that, it's just the thoughts. It's just how you feel. You can't help how you feel. We are humans, right? With the five of cups and the king of swords, it's like you're in, you you like the universe is protecting you. The universe is protecting you. You're being protected. But you got these dogs coming at you trying to bite you. And you got this stick fighting them off of you. But the good thing is you got a fence there. A gate. They can't get through the gate. Because you're being protected. You're being protected. The universe is protecting you from whatever situation that you're facing and that you're going through. And you may feel like it's a difficult time. But you drew the line. And once you draw the line, you can't go back. Once you say, I'm going to do this. And once you get the paperwork and when you, the source is up, you, it's like you know you this is not the right thing for you to do. You know that you made the right decision. You cannot go back. You know, you got boundaries here. You can't let nobody come into this bubble and try to bust it. You're being protected from the, the universe is protecting you at this time. It feels like you are inside the eclipse. Inside of it. Inside the eclipse. Check it out, baby. And the world is watching you. Being protected. You, The eclipse is dark. And it's something that's going right by you. And just let it go by you. Because it's a cloud. Is covering it. A cloud is going to come and cover you, but you got this white rain around you that is protecting you. It's like the universe is having everybody watch you in this dark cloud. It is protect, 
Pisces? This is huge. I'm going to say it again. Listen to me. I feel very emotional as I'm saying this to you. But when all this is over and done with, you're going to be sitting on top of the world because you are already. You are this eclipse. And you got to remember, it's this darkness that's passing you. And you're not going to see this darkness again for a long time. But the world is watching you. And it is happening yesterday and today. And it's, it's just like going to be so... It's a moment of you sitting there in this eclipse. And the world is watching you. You're being protected. And it's, it doesn't last, believe me. You may feel like this feeling is heavy on you, but it's not going to last. You're going to be over it very soon. Very soon. Okay? It may feel heavy. And you're waiting like you saying this feels good, but you're so used to crazy things happening that you just... It's hard for you to embrace it because things always happen to us in the most crazy way with people. But you're being protected this time and the shadow shall pass. Uh, do you understand? Tell me, tell me more. Tell me more about this five of swords. Tell me more about this five of swords, Pisces. Tell me more. That's right. The emperor. I keep saying this, Taurus. The emperor. This fire. This person is older than you. It's probably giving you advice. Or maybe he's coming into your life. The king of all kings, God said, and it's funny how... Yesterday, my ring arrived, and you know I always wear God's ring, right? You know it, because I'm married to God. But the ring arrived, and it's right here, and it's green, exactly how my bracelet is, right? And I got this ring on my hand, and it's new. It's like God is saying, you're ready for this emperor come into your life. I'm here to show you this rain. The universe is saying to you, you may be in that eclipse and that eclipse will pass and it's not going to come around for many, many more centuries. Not years. I'm talking about centuries. And you may feel a little weird and scared because things happen to us and we don't never see good things last. It seems like it just, it's like a cloud when it comes to us. But this time, you're being protected. That eclipse is protecting you. And there's so many people watching up at you, the world, the entire world is watching you. The whole world, not just one person, all eyes on you. You are on every TV. The world is glazing up at the stars. The world is glazing up at the thousand billions of stars. They, they so heavy on you, Pisces, that, honey, they got people that study you, that are studying you. But this dark cloud 
is passing you by. And it's almost like you're protected. You, it ain't almost you are protected. And what you've been through is coming to an end. And it feels good, but it's like, will this last? Will this beautiful moment last? It will last. For many years to come, I'm talking about centuries, you're going to have your head screwed on real tight right. You are. Embrace this eclipse. Embrace this moment. And listen to everything they say about the eclipse. Because thousands and billions and millions of people, along with the stars, are watching you perform just looking beautiful. It's like I'm coming into all dressed in black. And then I and, it, and, and I just pass by, and here I come up again. The sun, the yes. Above the thousands and billions and millions of people and stars. And that's what's going on in your life. You have been the underdog for many, and the black sheep for all your life. You deserve what is going on in your life. Embrace it. They might have won the battle, but you won the war. Okay? Tell me more about this moon representing Pisces or Cancer. Somebody is feeling this. Feeling you going up that hill, baby. They can't have you drowning no more. You, you going to the top. You ain't going. You're not jumping off the hill. They taking you up to the top. Come on now. It's like you got this king and I don't know. They want to take you to the top. It's like somebody's taking you away from somebody and taking you to the top. Look at this. The devil. I'm trying to tell you. This Capricorn is coming for you. You got the emperor and the devil, and you being protected, like you gaining everything you want. It's like this attachment and whatever it is, it's like you're freeing yourself. It's like you're freeing yourself from this attachment, but whatever it is, somebody got their hand in your heart. And you have your heart in their heart. And you dug in there. It's in there. It's embedded in there. It's like a love here that's undenying. You can't deny it. You got, it's like a person here that's got this, really getting their stuff or got their stuff together that's coming to you that's going to take you to the top. But you can't feel like you're drowning. Okay? But that's what that moon does. And maybe you were seeing somebody, um, this Cancer or uh, uh, Pisces or um, a Scorpio. But you're coming out of this. You're being protected. You're, you're like the emperor and then you got this... Just love thing going on here. This attachment to something right for you. And it feels good. But you got to let go of the old way of thinking. The old you. You got to embrace what God has given you. And do you understand that this eclipse... This going on right now does not happen. Doesn't show up all the time. You need to embrace what's going on in your life because it's pretty huge right now. 
and it got you feeling some type of way and it got somebody feeling some type of way where they got to call you and reach out to you because they know they don't have that strength. They don't have the power they had over you. It's like you are being protected over this power that somebody had over you. There's, I don't care how much love it was there. There's not this attachment that it was once was. You got to embrace the new. And whatever it was that you're attaching to is falling off of you, is breaking off of you. Remember, this, this, you know, Aries is Capricorn Taurus is pulling out of you the piss. It's like you're not, you're not jumping down. They pulling you up to the top of the hill. And they gotta do it very smart because. You're going up the hill. Something just popped right off your leg. And you're holding on for dear life. Like, I feel like you're leaving this king of cups or this water sign behind. But you feel kind of drowning in this because it was an attachment to this. But everything's going to work out. Because God says, I bring it to you with a plus. And it's all right to let go of what is no longer serving you. Or had you all discombined and never right. You're going to be okay. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. And I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.